Scene 7. Hey, turtles, take to the sky. We can't let Shredder get away. Alright, and we are back with part 7 of the Deathless Run through Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project, on the NES using Leonardo. Now, this first part is kind of short. You're on this elevator here, obviously. Now, wait until these balls explode before uh, jump kicking into them, otherwise you'll either get hit back or you'll uh, only kill, like, one mouser. Yeah, if you wait till the right time, you can kill quite a few with one jump kick. Hopefully, uh, you won't get knocked off into the hole, because that takes away, like, two damage per time. But, yeah. After them, you basically just stick to jump kicking for these guys for the most part. So you can get them off their platforms. Try not to jump kick all the time, though, otherwise they could punch you off into that stupid hole. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, just throw these guys. I think next is the part where everything falls on you. Yeah, for this part, just stand in the lower right corner. And uh, if you see any shadows appear above you, move. Okay, well, whatever. I didn't move far enough away. But yeah. Uh, basically, uh, that's the easiest way to see where shadows are at is down here in the lower right corner. Anywhere else, the things that are falling get in the way of you seeing if there's a shadow over you or not. So yeah. These pink ones are fairly annoying. Just try to do your best to jump kick them off their platforms quickly and throw them. But yeah. Whatever. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this part. And then we're going up onto the building. There's only uh, one boss of this stage, and that's Toka. And uh, there's kind of a mini boss, I suppose, anyway. Here on the roof, there's like a little foot clan member that operates a helicopter, and you gotta fight like 21 foot soldiers before he can move on. But it's not really a mini boss. But it's, it's not really a mini boss, but it's kind of a mini boss, I guess. Who knows? But yeah. Uh, Toka, the strategy I pretty much have planned for him is uh, just wait for him to do his little charge attacks where he charges at you and punches you or charges at you and uh, tries to bite you and do my special and then I'm going to try a jump kick away to get away from him. We'll see how it goes though. I don't know how well that'll work. Probably won't, but we'll see. For the most part, this roof area is just straightforward. Just jump kick these guys as they uh, come out and whatnot. And boom. Okay, that was crap. Here later on in the level, I know there are three of those foot soldiers that carry those little electric wall thingies. Right as the roof begins to get narrower. But yeah. Just toss all these guys out of your way. There we go. Dead and dead. Not much further before we get to that little helicopter area that I was talking about right after here actually I hate these pink ones well good I didn't get hit by them I usually do whatever here's the area I was talking about with three of these guys in a row now the last one and then uh, yeah here comes the little helicopter mini boss of swords I guess gotta fight 21 foot soldiers here then after this, we're almost to the end of the level. We gotta fight Toka. After this, we fight like a, like maybe three groups of foot soldiers, two groups of stone warriors or so, and then Toka, something like that. Not very far away. Whatever. I haven't been keeping track of how many I've beaten yet. I'm gonna guess nine, so this will be twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18. Yeah, I think the next set's the last one. Yeah, it was. Alright, well that was that. You know that you're near the end of the stage whenever you see that little electrified sign back there. Whatever. Alright, cool. Hopefully I can have some decent... whatever. Hopefully I can have some uh, decent health for Toka. Okay, screw you. What even hit me? Oh my god. 
Yeah, I don't care anymore. Special time. Die. Oh my god, just whatever. I can't risk any more specials. Okay, well that that was just stupid. Whatever. Well, hopefully that's enough health to get me to through Toka, I hope. However many I have, I can't really look at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's a low. Five, it seems. I got bad eyes, but it's either five or six. Probably four now. Three, because I used a special. Oh, uh, boy. Let's just hope my strategy against Toka works. Wish me luck. Anyway. Just use melee attacks to get rid of these guys. And dead. This should be the last little set of foot soldiers. And here comes Toka. But yeah. Just slash him as he does his little charge attack at you. So far it seems to be working pretty good so far. He hasn't tried his little punch attack yet. Alright, good. He seems to be stuck in his little bite attack like a little loop of it. I'm sure that most of the time he wouldn't be stuck in that kind of a loop though. Alright, he's just about dead. Probably one more time. No? Okay. This probably will do it. Alright, cool. Well, that was the end of this level. Jump up here to this part. There's Shredder, and he's gonna get beamed up. Well, that's the it for part 7. The end of part 7, I mean.